Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get access to Quibot Premium for free. I'm going to show you how you can get 100% access to the features of Quibot Premium for free without paying a dime. So, if this really sounds exciting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications because I'm going to show you everything, how you're going to have access to every feature on this, uh, on this app or on this software free without paying money so as you can see Quibot here has the ability to paraphrase grammar checking plagiarism co-writing summarizing and citation generation and all of this which you can have access to but because you are on the free period or on the trial version which is limited which you can only go about writing here in limited quantity or pasting words here just with a limited access you cannot go beyond that and you cannot have access with this and thank god for the help of chat gpt you can have access to all of these things and guys that's exactly what i'm going to show you in this video i'm going to show you how to how to access the, all the features of quibble premium on chat gpt and then appreciate the use of this powerful ai because i'm going to show you how to have access to the fluency format simple creative expand and shorten features of, of quibble with this aid of this powerful AI, you can have access to paraphrasing, grammar checking, plagiarism, co-writing, summarizing, and everything here on Quibot, you can have access to it. All you just need to do is watch this video to the very end as I will guide you on how to get full access to this feature and all these things here. And just like Grammarly and all of that, you're going to have access to all of this for free without paying a dime. So if you're ready, guys, I'm ready. Let's jump right into this. So, guys, for, for instance, you want to check cryptocurrency, and you know that this very uh, keyboard, the access here, you cannot post more than 100 words or 150 words because they're limited. So, if you want to have access to this or paraphrase a word here, all you need to do is paste 200 to 300 words, which I doubt is not even up to 200, and then paraphrase and then copy it. And after that, come back and paraphrase. Let me show you quickly. For instance, I want to check this word. I want to have access to this word. Let me check quickly. Uh, let's copy. I want to paraphrase this word. I want to paraphrase this. Let's copy that and come back to keyboard and let's click on paste. Now, if you can see, this is about 113 words. Now, this 113 words, if I want to paraphrase this, I cannot exceed 200 words here. Now, because of this, you can see I cannot have access to formal, simple, creative, expand, shorten because I need to upgrade to premium and I need money to pay for that. And because I don't have access to that, I will use the aid of this powerful tool, this powerful tool which is called ChatGPT, and I'm going to have access to every of these tool here on plagiarism, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make use of this app and this AI without getting to pay money and replace all of these things so just like grammarly you can check and have access to all of this so guys when you have this pasted here all you need to do you can you cannot check the plagiarism here because it is uh, a limited access you need to upgrade to the premium version to do that so if you have this words here already what you need to do is just click on rephrase and when you click on rephrase you can see all of these words are completely it's like, or they are completely different and it's not entirely the same cryptocurrency if you can read this through you can see that they are not the same so you have limited access and you cannot paste more than this so if you want to go ahead again you need to go ahead and copy these words again and come back to paste here and paraphrase or rephrase all over again now the amazing thing about this is you don't need to stress all yourself going ahead pasting, copying and pasting and refreshing and going to have access to all of this. Now, if you need to do all of this, all you just need to do is just go ahead and then copy this as much as you want. Copy this and then straight to your chat GPT. You can copy as much as you want, but because I want to keep it simple, I'm just copying a little bit. Copy it and head to chat GPT and give it a prompt command. Prompt a command such as paraphrase this because I want to paraphrase this whole work. Then we see paraphrase this. 
paraphrase this give space and then copy down what you want and then send now let's wait for the app uh, the ai to answer the question and guys as you can see it's already on it you see it's writing and paraphrasing the whole of the work as you can see this uh, this work that has been about to have about six paragraphs it has been paraphrased to just four lines so guys you can see it is very fast it works very much for you so if you are a content creator or you are a writer out there you can use it because it's approved and then you can use it for monetization and writing of your articles and your blogs and all of that so if you can see we have actually been able to paraphrase the whole of this work you can actually copy all of this so guys if you see some of the functions here which is about fluency formal simple creative expand and short and you cannot access all of the things because you need to pay for uh keyboard premium but you can have access to all of this at once once you reach chat gpt because you don't need to do all of this here once you prompt the command here chat gpt has already installed system that brings out the simple nature of the work creative and um, formal and fluency uh, of a work which you have given it so you can test it all of you can test all of this and as you can see it is very fast so after that guys the next thing that we're going to do here to check how effective and how you can uh, access all of these keyboard tools for free using chat gpt is to use the summarizer let's check how this can summarize the of this work so head back to, to your chat gpt and then let's try to summarize this work go ahead and copy uh, your work and just write summarize summarize this let's see how chat gpt is going to summarize this work for us it's either you copy this or this one so let's just choose to copy let's just copy this one right here let's copy this one right here and just keep it down here and paste it so let's see how chat gpt is going to summarize this and give us the effective nature of how it can summarize the work for you using your keyboard instead so let's just prompt the command and wait for how it's going to work so it's there's an error here let's see so there's an error this could be due as a result of network unstable network or uh due to the traffic on the side but let's see how we can go around that let's see how we can go about that so let's just rephrase the whole place we encounter such a thing just let's rephrase the whole place so the network is really bad it's really really bad so let's just reload it let's reload it so if you are encountering issues of this nature this is how you go about it just go about it in this way refresh sorry refresh your your work your your system or your network and just go ahead and prompt another command summarize this and then copy down what you want and let's see how that's going to work So guys, if you see after refreshing it, the network is back strong and the traffic on the website is actually now cool. So you can just go ahead and refresh it instead of canceling the whole work and beginning from the scratch. You can just go ahead and refresh or reload your page and then create, click on new chat and then prompt your command. So what we had from the other end, which was for us to go ahead and summarize, you can see that this whole work now is actually being summarized from four lines to three lines. So if you go back to your keyboard, you can see that the effect of the, the function here of the summarizing effect, we have actually been able to achieve that using our chat GPT very fast and very simple. So you can go ahead also and expand, shorten, and uh, create more content and even check plagiarism on your work. It is very, very possible that you can check all of this on chat GPT by just giving you this simple command. Now let's look, look at how we can be able to uh, access uh, the expand or the shorting uh, uh, function on QuickBot. For instance, we want to see whether this sentence is good. If we want to see whether this sentence is actually correct, we can just prompt a command by saying this sentence, let's prompt it this way, is this sentence correct? Is this sentence correct? Just put it and then bring up the sentence I was I was to go out tomorrow. 
let's see it sounds very funny but let's see the effect of chat gpt how it's going to work that out uh, for us i was to go out tomorrow and then click your enter and let's see the response so if you give out that response if it is actually correct it's going to give you a com it's going to give you a response that is actually in line with what you are asking it to do so this way you can actually you can actually go ahead and check the the formal nature the fluency and the simple nature of a sentence whether it is standard or not so you can actually have access to all of these tools on your chat gpt so you can see the response here the sentence is grammatically correct but it was not clear that it was not clear what the speaker's intent is so you can see it has actually given us a feedback on what the sentence is everything every tool you need to use on quibot that you cannot have access to it because you need to pay and you don't have funds chat gpt it's right here for you this ai can give you access to everything all the tools and everything here is just for you to give it a right prompt you must make sure that you give it that high uh, that semicolon when you give it that semicolon make sure you give it a space just like you've seen in this sentence for instance i want to see paraphrase this let me just give it back that again paraphrase this now when you give that high frame, make sure you give it space there should be a space before you write down whatsoever you want to write even if it is a question mark make sure you give it a space so that you can read the whole thing very much well because the algorithm needs to understand what you're asking it to do so let's see how check the plagiarism level of this and expand and all of that so we are going to come back to our chat gpt and then write something down like uh this this work copied from another source let's see because we want to see if this content or what we are writing here is original or it is actually a copied work so for you to check that plagiarism level you need to give a command here on your chat gpt that is this work copied from another source so let's see what chat gpt will bring for us regarding this very good guys so this is amazing this is so amazing so you can see that you can actually go ahead and check your plagiarism level using your chat gpt so you can actually use this chat gpt to check every uh everything you need you can check your plagiarism you can check your summarizing ability you can see the fluency the formality and everything shorting and everything on quibot that you need to do and you need to know if you don't have money then guys chat gpt is just the right place for you to get everything you want every tool and access every tool that you need on quibot for free on chat gpt look at what it has given us guys so if you can see this guys this is actually really really cool if you see this guys this is what we have been able to summarize this is what we have been able to summarize and we actually got it from this source and we brought it back to chat gpt where it wrote the whole thing for us so we are asking we have asked it to summarize i'm sorry to check if it is from another source and look at the response however it is common knowledge and widely available information it would be considered as no knowledge to help the last sentence look at the last the last sentence says and it would be considered as common knowledge and it would not be considered as plagiarism this means you can rephrase everything and you can check your plagiarism level on chat gpt whether the source of your work is copied or it is not copied all you just need is to give it a prompt command prompt a command for it and it is actually going to respond to you so this is how you go ahead and expose and e exploit every function on quibot using chat gpt if you don't have money to go ahead and pay for this software guys chat gpt is actually here to do the work for you you can expand your work you can get creative you can get your formal response you can check your plagiarism you can check your grammar check and everything that you need for free here on chat gpt without being able or without going back to pay for quibot if you find this content very helpful and very useful please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications for more subsequent videos please support our channel and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and do not forget to share this video if you really find it helpful